Here's a little secret most actors won't tell you. You don't do it for the audience. You do it for you. They've bought a ticket to watch the universe flow your artistry and talent to you and through you. Hi, my name is Steve Blanchard, and I'm an actor. I've performed on Broadway, in television, and in films. Along the way, I've picked up little bits here and there, and I'd like to share them with you if you're starting out as an actor. If you're interested, they've certainly helped me. Number one, to begin your journey, formal training is crucial. The more things you can do, the more chances someone will hire you. Acting, voice, dance, music, stage combat, tumbling, puppetry, mime, you get it, etc. I got my first Broadway show, The Three Musketeers, because of my stage combat experience. So become adept at as many things as possible. Today's profession requires that an actor can do it all, especially with economics. With smaller casts, producers want to hire a few people who can do everything. I mean, look at her. Number two, act anywhere and everywhere you can. Audition for everything. You never know. You can be so incredibly wrong for something, but the director has a colleague looking for someone exactly like you. Every opportunity to perform contributes to your growth as an actor and helps you refine your craft. Number three, practice. Then do it again, now do it again. By that, I mean make it your life. Attend workshops, seminars, and master classes conducted by seasoned actors, directors, and industry professionals to expand your knowledge and hone your multiple skills. Stay updated with current trends and techniques in the business. Number four, voice and body training. Maintain a strong voice and body to sustain long performances. Remember, this is a marathon for life, not a sprint. At times, I may have looked like a linebacker, but I practiced vocal exercises to improve projection, clarity, and flexibility. And I held that note a long time. Incorporate weight training, yoga, or martial arts to enhance your body awareness, your stamina, and endurance. Number five, the audition. I heard George Clooney say this, and it, it really changed everything for me. Before you go into the room, you already don't have the job, so go for it. There's no loss if you don't get the gig. Many go into the room trying to get the job. Instead, go into the room trying to get the character. If you do that, I guarantee the jobs will come. Just be you. There is no other on this planet quite like you. You are unique. Number six, the job. Be on time, be prepared, be a professional, and be a sponge. Soak up everything you can from the creatives, the director, the choreographer, music director, and their assistants, especially their assistants. 
and talk to the oldies. As a young actor, I gravitated to all the old character people in the show to garner any morsel of knowledge I could. And you know there's one or two in every show. Number seven, The Long Running Show. Now in this arena, I've got a bit of body of work. Personally, I've, I've never understood why my colleagues would leave shows early. Ambition, I guess. I get it. Little House on the Prairie was a year and a half of my life. Camelot, for a year and a half. The Little Mermaid, for another year and a half. Newsies, for two years. Ken Hill's Phantom of the Opera, for two and a half years. And finally, Beauty and the Beast, for eleven and a half years. That's a lot of cheap hotels, greasy food, and bumpy bus rides. <laughs> and I loved it all. In a long run, you have to constantly peel back another layer of the character, night after night, year after year. I was still discovering new things in my eighth year as the Beast. I would use the performance as a live rehearsal in front of thousands of people. If it worked, I'd keep it. If it didn't, I'd try something new, again and again. Number eight, block out all negativity. Listen, other people's opinions of you are none of your business. Here's a little secret most actors won't tell you. You don't do it for the audience. You do it for you. They've bought a ticket to watch the universe flow your artistry and talent to you and through you. Number nine, dealing with disappointment. Look, rejection is a common part of this acting thing. But it is, simply, an opportunity for growth. Learn from each audition experience and stay motivated. Let no one or no thing sway you from your desire. Remember, becoming a successful actor requires dedication, continuous learning, and resilience in the face of challenges. Number 10, research. It is a privilege in this day and time to have all the information available at your fingertips. I've played so many historical characters that it was an obligation to research them and find their essence. Here's a bonus. Change your vocal technique and quality for each character you portray. Would the Beast sing the same way as Lancelot? Or the Phantom? Would he sing the same way as the Grinch? Absolutely not. It's the same as a character walk or a pitch in your speaking voice. Each new role you portray wouldn't sing the same way as if you were standing at the piano in your voice lesson. I hope this was a little helpful to you all or maybe just a few. Let me know in the comments section what more you'd like to touch on. Beast of luck to you, and remember, what you wish for yourself, you wish for all.